Hey guys, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, we're trying to get a facility lead here. That would be great. Uh, it would be nice to get to 200% infiltration to get that extra volunteer army member, but I don't think I can squeeze that out, considering that our next sequence of missions are very crucial, and I'm pretty concerned that we're not going to have enough people to do them all. <laughs> So, yeah, it's it's risky. We're definitely stretched very thin here with the amount of losses we've had with the number of recruits that I cannot hire because they're too expensive. Yeah, it's, this is really, really challenging. Uh, now, Reactor 4 is here. Really good aim. We have Stargrave with the Frost Bomb and the Acid Grenade. We have Mikami, the Combat Engineer. We've got uh, Angerbot Wilson, who can hopefully level up soon enough and maybe start repairing uh, some of our sparks for us. Uh, the Toaster, first time trying this new spark class. And Kaiden Von Mifmofriksen, which I'll probably butcher the pronunciation of multiple times. Uh, let's rock and roll, shall we? Today's trivia question. Besides field medics, which class did the most total healing last season or the Chosen Season 6? A. Tech Specialist, B. Assault Infantry, C. Templar, or D. Sapper? This is a total guess, unless you have some type of magical brain powers. But let me know what you guys think below. And today's log comes from Beardo, who writes for Nicholas Beardo, Cutter. Says this. The Viper, though, he was quick. I managed to knock him on his ass. Do Vipers have asses? Never mind. But he snagged Ryder before we could shoot him off, and Ryder took cover. Viper took another look at us before summoning some kind of portal and booking it. Couldn't think about him because the rest of Advent was on us. Yeah, that was a that was a <laughs> that was a spicy mission. Holy smokes! Toaster. Oh. Okay. Toaster is toaster is beefy. <laughs> okay. So I was wondering what this was gonna look like in practice because clearly uh, he has to get up close and personal, right? So he's got incinerate. Pretty long range fire. Uh, he's got he's carrying the shields, which is generating the uh, the extra uh, well shielding. And then he's got shield wall. So receive less defense. That's fine. Kind of like the, the phalanx. Uh, once per turn when attacking, an extra movement only action on the following turn. Hack increased by zero because we don't have any of this equipped, I think. And what else? It, I think shield wall is probably giving armor as well. Spark Shield grants 10 shield points to the user, provides low cover for adjacent units. Sick. Okay. Well, let's get hunting, shall we? Capture or kill the enemy VIP? Well, we got 12 turns. If we can capture, great. If we can't, well, that's too bad. On the move. Let's start hunting here. Hostiles making the rounds. Purifier Trooper. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to jinx anything, but I, I do feel like we are starting to hit our first power spike on of now. the campaign. Got it. Move which it. feels pretty good. I've got enemy movement here. Don't like that. Not gonna lie to you. Don't like that. I'm gonna tuck here. And raid. Maybe take this spot for now. Okay. Red Dawn. Uh, let's put you up here as well. We'll move away from that group. Try to focus this one. Maybe they walk towards us. Maybe they stand right in front of this truck. Or, or maybe they just walk away. Also, that is... It's a valid strategic choice. And if I was them, I would consider the same thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we will continue looking for them. 
We do have a rocket from Mikami here. Um, doesn't quite get me the range that I was hoping. Moving to position. And even now, like, <laughs> with three tiles of scatter that I completely do not trust, there's no way I, I take that. There is no way I take that. Uh, Stargrave with that Frost Bomb. This could be a pretty decent opener too, but again, I don't think we're going to reach it from here. Not quite. Now, the, the challenge is we could very easily find ourselves just chasing this group, and then we have this guy, these guys behind us, which could cause problems. Uh, let's stick Raid here. And Reactor, I'll put you up top in this corner. Eyes on the prize. Moving to Overwatch. Why can't I... Oh, oh, that's right. I gave her this long lance. I totally forgot about that. I was like, why can't we Overwatch? Okay, so I'm going to have to try to remember that as best as I can. She's there now, so... Yeah. Now, if these guys don't move, that would also be valid. Or if they come back towards us, both good options. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Do I just... Do I just... Do I just frost these dudes? Do I just go for it? And just lock them down? Slam them? I think... I think so. I think so. We just destroy this group in one turn. Turn our attention to those other two that we saw. We're in the sight. All right. Ready for the fireworks. Give them hell. Well, we actually did hit everything. Believe it or not. Uh, Purifier. Now, if he's frozen, I feel like he probably doesn't explode. Sniper rifle coming in nice here. I could, of course, be wrong, and he very well could explode, but... I'm gonna take the, the bigger damage on the bigger targets, just to be sure. Um... Let's hit the Muton. Once we get these guys the ability to shoot twice, that's gonna that's gonna be great too. Uh, I don't think that will matter. They're still frozen. All root. I like these spreads too. That's so sick. <laughs> ah. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well. That's cool. That's cool. That's just awesome. I'm gonna Overwatch here because if that other group comes in. Oh, jeez. Is that what I think it is? <sighs> yeah. Okay. So many chosen. So many chosen. Okay. I appreciate that. Well, I'm glad we locked this group down at least. The chosen aren't going to behind this truck first. currently. Keep your heads down and press forward. We need to get to their location to take them out. Abductor. We're getting some unlucky rolls here with the bigger pods. I'll give you a sporting chance. Well, 
Let's go. Fentanyl frame. Shotgun from here is not horrible. Okay, it's not great. It's about as accurate as that flamethrower, apparently. Let's get a reload in. This should finish the muton. Stargrave. So this, this little pop-up here, I have to figure out how to disable that again, because it's pretty annoying. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so he doesn't get the extra armor. All that does is it's the traditional shield wall ability. Um, let's do this. We'll overwatch from up here. I am a little concerned about that group on the right. I think we'll send in our toaster to bop this abductor. Well, he doesn't have the defense now. That's fine. That's fine. There's his reflex, so we're going to get extra actions next turn, which means we can definitely reach that. Oh, he's locking down my toaster? <laughs> you would do that. He would do that. Well, isn't that sweet? Did there was there another sniper here that overwatched? Man, okay. That's really annoying that he locked him down, but I guess that's the right call. I'm gonna move Red Dawn in. Nice dodge. Twinsies here. I know she's flanked by this. Hmm. This guy could go for a mind control. Sixty-five aim, seventy aim, seventy aim, slightly higher damage. But we are totally flanked here. This is for you. Let's try and open this up. I'm gonna have to take a little whack here from this zombie, probably. I mean these guys do see it. Close one option. We can come down here. Seems doable. Let's move Stargrave up. Nice kill. Impression? Why don't you pick on someone your own size? I was looking to see if I could maybe get. Uh, Angerbot in range to disorient that abductor, but I don't see that happening. Hmm. I mean, I guess these two are going to shoot the zombie. I don't love it.
Okay. I guess we can overwatch this. Or I could aid protocol one of these guys. Let's overwatch. Fire? Okay, this could be interesting. So he overwatches with his incinerator. There's that other group. We still have eight turns here, so... It's not bad. Nice whiff, thank you. <sighs> okay. Smells like fresh blood to me. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Yes. They're so far away too. Like, I have to hope he doesn't lock down our toaster. Oh, he's doing it again. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, that's not horrible. We have a med kit here. Let's immediately use this. This loot, not looking great at the moment. Okay, let's hold on to that for a second. We're gonna go kinetic strike here. Only 72%. My other option would be to come to do, like, our, uh, our overdrive. Run down here and try to burn them. But seeing how we whiffed before, I'm a little bit hesitant to do that. I have Shield Bash, which does disorient. That's 82%. And he would still take additional damage. What's this? 10? Hmm. Because if this doesn't kill anyway, it's only 7 damage on the other, so it is accounting for that extra damage. Maybe Shield Bash is the way to go here. And it's higher percentage. Mind you, disorienting him, yeah, I guess it's good, but he's not controlling anything right now. But I do wonder if I should just go for max damage. I think so. Ooh, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> what the frick? Uh, okay. Okay. And Angerbot can't see anything now. This is quite annoying. I'm gonna see if Mikami can handle this. I feel like I'm having Discord sounds. Yep, we were having discords down. Sorry about that. They won't last long. Let's burn. Heading out. Okay, seven turns. My god. I'm gonna have to suppress here. Enemy lockdown. Reactor will have a shot. If he wants it on the hunter. I don't really have a choice but to go for it. Nice, okay, he hit. I'll take that. 
I could kill the hunter, or I can hit both of these. Now, the, the purifier is not immune to acid. Just poison and fire. Hmm. Yeah. Or I could just hunker down here, but this guy still has us flanked. I think I'm going to toss this down. Nice kill. I'll take that. I suppose that's why the elders want you back. What's our hack? Ooh. 59% for disorient. Combat protocol could kill there or I could aid protocol. You know, I might actually aid protocol there, and then next turn we could go for the for the um, failsafe hack. Just because the whole map alert thing. With, with yellow alert, I guess it's not so bad. But alerting everyone to our position could be a problem. Um, disorient enemies for two turns. That's That's no joke. But I feel like we have suppression here. This guy's on fire. Yeah, I actually don't know what the right call is. I think if, if enemies were to run at us this turn, it would be pretty scary. I'm going to do this. did get the max. It's like 0 to 2. Yikes. Oh! Took a little fire there. I'll take that. Wow. 5%. Okay. I actually hope that he activates soon. Okay, flanked. The reactor, we're not going to move. Let's see if reactor can clean this up. Now, the Chosen is immune to melee, isn't he? I just realized. Yep. That's not great for our toaster friend. Jeez, Reactor almost never misses, I swear. I just associate him with being amazing. Okay, this is on cooldown now. <laughs> great. Go for this. There we go. Oh, and the stun even. I'll take that. Now, this guy could die. He could. I feel like this fire could become problematic here. We could also now hold off on that. Okay, so Sectoid I'm not going to worry about. I need a reload here on Raid. Shotgun can kill the Hunter. Be 
ya. Okay. Return fire. Holy crap. I always forget about return fire. Ridiculous. I kind of want to save grenades so that if the Chosen is on a rooftop, I can maybe deal with it. I'm going to overwatch here and see if this guy runs at us. I agree with you, actually. Land it. Beautiful. Oh my god, nice shot. He's getting closer. He's getting closer. He's doing his thing again. Alright, he didn't pin anyone. Tell you what. Let's get a little heal in here. I wonder, actually. Chances are going to be quite low. I just really want to be moving people as forward as we can. Okay, that showed no fire. We're pretty close to the objective, too. I'm just gonna move to the other side and do it. There we go. And we got some loot. Oh! <gasps> that is a beautiful gem. That is a beautiful gem to pick up. Absolutely. Got it covered. Let's dash full cover here. Angerbot, go. Oh, oh, oh. Now, we'll try to avoid the issue we've run into a couple times with this hunter, where we're a bit grouped up, and then he just the grenades us with that Knockout gas. No problem, boss. Just a little cautious that there's probably another pod still. To the sweet. To the sweet. To the sweet. To the sweet. Getting up top doesn't really provide me any benefits with this spark, so... <sighs> there is another one, yeah. That's... This is going to be really tough if I can't trigger the hunter right away. Can we still see the hack from here? Nope. Okay, so what we could do... If I just need to make things happen, we just go for a kill and forgo some of the intel. Because our timer is tight. And now we could just look to leave or try to leave. 
We have to go up this back side or the front side here. Um, Toaster's about to take a bit of a wallop, isn't he? Yep. I'm going. Put Red Dawn here. Angerbot is pretty far, so that's it's gonna still be a couple of turns. On the move. For now, I kind of have to group them here to have cover. Okay, so these guys, they seem to prioritize raising the dead. I don't actually know if, the, if they have uh, mind control on the abductors. Nice whiff there, bud. Come out, come out, God. wherever you are. Oh, are you... What? Are you kidding? And now... If I, yeah, I was thinking maybe come over here and blow that up. But then I lose my objective. Okay, 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 okay. How do we solve this problem? We can break the overwatch from the trooper. And I could maybe plant this mine down. Nice shot. Sometimes it doesn't let me place. Come on. Come on. Why wouldn't it let me do it? I think it might be because... Maybe because the middle tiles are... Are taken. I have to plant it on a flat surface. Could that be? Fifty-five to crit there. I'm thinking that's probably why I can't place this. actually have a zone suppression here. The problem is that we are still multiple turns away with Raid because his mobility is so low. Something like this. Get that going just a little bit. 
I do have blinding protocol that I could hit the abductor with. Is it clear? What's the hack here? Again, disorient. 51%. Okay. So if it if if okay. So we're gonna comp we're gonna have blinding protocol here. If we'll have two more turns, I might have to do a, a fail safe thing next turn. But it'll de depend on what her range is to get to this objective or not. Ooh, look at that range close to hitting both. I'll put this here. I know it's not a great spot. Nice. Okay, that saves us having to shoot that. Oh, wait. He didn't lose the the zombie on that? Huh. Okay. He didn't lose the zombie on that. Reactor does need to move because we don't have the range. To get to the evac. Okay, we got him. Disoriented into Overwatch. Reinforcements coming in. Oh, I wonder if he goes to pin Mikami here. I see you. Yeah, I think we'll... Oh, reinforcements aren't in yet. Oh yeah, comms jamming. That's actually so good. Okay, this turn is very important. So, anger bot. This guy is disoriented. I, I think we go for the the movement here. The acid, I'm a little concerned about. Um. If she gets stunned, if she gets stunned, which is pretty likely, we could still pick her up and go, I think. Um, the other option is to just try this hack. Move and try it. He doesn't die from this, I swear to God. <laughs> so I'm going to try and break the tracking shot, I think.
And then these guys are going to go to Overwatch. Double time. Bring Stargrave. I'm going to bring Reactor as well. Raid I'll bring here. Then he can come up around this side. Got it covered. It's honestly very tempting to try this hack because... Um, uh, because if I could disorient him, maybe he loses that tracking mark, and then I could run Red Dawn a little safer. The problem is, in order to guarantee that I get out here, I, I don't know if I'm going to have it from here. I'm kind of blocking my way up that side. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to do this. And then we'll go for this one. See what happens. Oh boy. Okay. That's fine. I think that's fine. Now these guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep because we might want to do some Overwatching breaking stuff. And I'm hoping that that sectoid acids and burns to death here. Okay, he's gone at least. It all comes down to who he tries to pin. He has honestly been so elusive and so annoying. Okay, that's actually fine, I think. Because I think we can just evac from there. Oh, I just realized my incinerator is on uh, ammo count. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this would break the... This would break the Pathfinder shot, which is fine by me. I actually could overdrive too. If I can move, I could reload, and then I could try and destroy something. Okay. I didn't think he was going to break that other one as well, but that's fine, I guess. Je vais recharger. Can I shoot through the floor? <laughs> Do we have any floor shots? No, I don't. And this guy's impenetrable. Okay. So now we run one Overwatch. Uh, ooh, okay. I see it. I see an issue. I see a big issue. Shit. Okay, I need to somehow solve this problem. <sighs> Ugh. Okay. Mmm! Raid! What do I do? 
I'm one tile short on raid, and this guy's blocking us. I have no way of killing him. Getting him out of the way. <sighs> I don't have any grenades. I do have a grenade on Angerbot, but... That's not going to cut it. Okay. Another option. We just keep everyone here. No, I have to leave. <laughs> I have to leave this turn. I have to leave this turn. Maybe there's a chance where Red Dawn could come to this corner and still hit this guy and kill him. That would be phenomenal. Well, he's actually, yeah, he's getting lit up there. It's possible. What's over there? I need the four. Okay. Now, he will be running through fire. But he can get out. Woo! Okay. Angerbot, you're the one with armor. So I'm going to have you break this. Oh my god, that was sweaty. But I think... I think we're safe. Fire be damned. Wow. <laughs> that was... Gross. Nothing else I can do here. I'm just gonna leave. That was very tight. Holy smackers. <laughs> the hunter just... I don't know, man. I, I, am I, I don't know if I'll ever kill this guy. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to kill him. Toaster, this photo is uh, absolutely beautiful. 8 out of 10 with the Wi-Fi, Solar Slayer. He did take a little bit more damage than I was hoping at the end there, because he's going to have some repair times, but it shouldn't be that bad. And he still will come out with full shields, even if, it, if, if his health isn't as good. Red Dawn, 28 damage. MVP, that save at the end, absolutely crucial. Yeah, that looks... That's the one. I like it. That's the one. Uh, raid, 4 for 4, 27. And one tile and fire and... He hit all the check boxes today. Reactor 4, 5 for 5. I, this guy, his expected accuracy score must be the highest of the campaign. If it's not, I'd be shocked. Uh, Stargrave, 2 for 3, 50. And Angerbot, 3 for 3 with that sniper rifle. That actually worked out pretty well. Okay, did we get any promotions? That would also be beautiful. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. Shop percentage quite high.
So the, the melee spark feels fine, I guess. Uh, a bit concerning that we whiffed the... Oh, those wound times are actually pretty low. That's not bad. Everyone's tired, though. Ugh. Um, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> look how big he is. Uh, him missing that, that incinerator shot was a bit scary. Whiffing the melee shot was a bit scary. I imagine that's all tied to his aim, so as he gets better, that should improve. Rouse, demolition, or surveillance. Just be- these are old- like, these are fine, but... To be fair, we haven't used this that much on our other... Combat Engineers. But I still think- I still think it's gonna be fun to experiment with. Alright. So... Marine. We've got Danger Zone on some, Covering Fire on some. Minus 15 aim penalty to the target for one turn. Yeah. Let's do this. It combos better with our zone suppression. An anger bot. Sergeant rank. That's good because now you can repair. Check this out. Gremlin can repair. Uh, scales with tech level. 357. I don't know... I don't know if this is a single charge or not. Okay, let's look at this. Combat protocol now deals 200% damage to mechanical enemies and plus one additional base damage to non-mechanical enemies. Squad sight range is huge. Silent motors for concealment stuff. Each time Silent Motors prevents a soldier from losing concealment, a growing 20% detection radius apply penalty is applied. Man, Overload is so good, but Extended Signal Range is also very good. Um, especially if we, if we do run her with the Sniper Rifle and she gets Squad Sight Range, that's pretty good. Her aim is decent, like... I actually think we're going to take this. But at some point, picking up Overload would be great. Core meld mind control? <laughs> How nasty is that? We killed our guy, but there's no way I could have gotten to him. I think that was the right call. Got our facility lead. Delayed facility construction. Commander. If you come across anyone with an aptitude for the sciences, send them my way. Yeah, I know, Tygen. I'm quite literally working on it as we speak. Now, I only have five ready. So this is where things are getting kind of dicey. Because um, we're going to have multiple, <laughs> multiple things pop. This is just for part one of the assault here. For Advent Sealed Armor. But, like, I feel as if poison, fire, and ice, like, that would be really bad. That would negate our acid grenades. That would negate our flamethrowers. That would negate our frost bomb. These are both just horrible. Now, I'd like to do this as soon as possible. Thirty-one hours, thirty-one hours. Twenty-eight hours, forty hours. Jeez. This is gonna I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pull this off. But we have some people coming back from from ops. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I do need to wait until we have six people ready. Okay, there it is. Action together is complete, Commander. These guys both came back without wounds. Good. Okay. Reduce contact costs could be good too. 
Um, infiltration mission here. Yeah, see, okay. Um, I, I can't. I can't do it. I cannot get our scientists this way. It's unfortunate. And it's Cloista too. He's one of the, the mod makers. Um, so it'd be really cool to try and get him. But I just can't. I have to counter those dark events. And that takes priority right now. So, this is available. Air patrols. Lost. That's good. Hunter, which means we just saw him. He's not going to show again. So, if we can have a, just a super clean mission here, no injuries, and we get people that can go on back-to-backers, that could be huge. Um, that could be huge. Now, he probably got promoted. But he's not full health, so he's not going to get the unlock until he's full health. Um, yeah. Yeah, being repaired 48 hours. Not bad. 32 days. Oh, forgotten. Now, we could bring out 40. But I feel like we wait until pool mother's ready and we run that combo what are my lowest possible people I could bring here Rohash is fine I'm gonna bring Angerbot so she can heal up uh, Toaster Odin's good Assault infantry is maybe okay, maybe not. We're going to have to abuse the Lost Lure. There's no question about that. Uh, Galenin. Let's bring you. Bring the rail pistol. And then maybe Stigs with another pistol. Now, hmm, I might, yeah, I might want to take, oh, rocket launcher. Was this here before? Did I have an empty slot on him when I took him out? I bet I did. Yeah, let's take that. But it's not showing. It's showing here, but not here. I don't know if that means I can use it or not or what, but... Looks like I could give him extra mobility. Uh, I am going to give you this bullpup instead now. I'll give you the long lance. There's an upgraded vector I can buy. Femnotic, here we come. The question is... Who do I take? Who do I take uh, a, lo a lost lure on? We do have our sapper Beardo here. Max Will as well. He's got Salvo. The thing is... <laughs> like, yeah, he has Salvo. We don't really want to be blowing things up left, right, and center. But at the same time... We might have to.
Uh, we're going to remove... Hold on. We're going to remove the experimental mag. Maybe give him the speed loader. Uh, actually... Oh, we won't be able to use both. Two mobility, but suffer 10% aim after the rest of the, the rest of the turn after moving. That I'm fine with on our sniper. And then you can take the sabo rounds. Lost lure there. Frost. And. Mag Grenade has more damage. I guess I'll stick to that. We'll try not to use it if we don't have to. It has the stock and the bipod. Speed loader, who would who would benefit from that the most? I actually think we use the bipod here. With Sabo rounds, that's pretty strong. Oops. Escort resistance operative to workstation. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Um. Hmm. You could take the mag cannon here, since we don't have that upgrade yet. Who's going to be doing the most shooting? <laughs> I guess probably you. We'll give you the speed loader. I'll just see if we have any upgrades available here. Nope. I could give you the extra mobility. I'm actually okay with that. On the combat engineer. Minus 10% aim after moving, which... If we're using explosives and stuff, not as big of a deal, but... Lost or here, but we could use that to our advantage too, right? So maybe, maybe we will just be fine with that. I'm actually thinking med kits for everyone. Uh, nano scale for you. You're pretty fragile. Uh, let's go med kit there. I'm a little unsure of why this isn't showing. Maybe I maybe I need to have something else. I'm not sure. We've got the vest there. Vest there. Med kit. Med kit. Armor, salvo, punchy, punchy, uh, incinerator for lost, fire for lost, damage here, damage here for advent. Yeah, I think this is okay. It's an abandoned plot too. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, gremlin upgrade, I don't think we have, right? No. This bolt caster is tempting. The bolt caster is tempting. I could maybe buy this mag pistol. Because she's got the rail. He would benefit from that pretty heavily on this mission type. Let's do that. Mag Shorty is another thing we should probably buy for our Marines, but we'll get there. Okay, guys. Toaster, Alien, Odin, Galanen, Beardo, and Angerbot. Wish me luck. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.